Hello, 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 and welcome back to my channel. I'm just adjusting my hairband because I'm all ready to start a new look. Today is another RuPaul Drag Race viewing party at the Felix Bar in Vienna, and I'm getting ready for this event. And today I will wear a kind of clueless 1990s Barbie gone bad look. So if you wanna see how I do that makeup, then just keep on watching. I'm starting my foundation game with Revlon's Photo Ready Prime and Anti Shine Primer. Then I'm starting to cover up my skin with Revlon's Photo Ready Insta Fix Foundation Sticks. And to blend it all in, I'm using Revlon's Color Stay Makeup in the color 240 and going under the eyes with Liquid Camouflage Concealer by Catrice. I'm baking the entire situation with Ben Eyes Neutral Set Colorless Face Powder. All right, and now it's time for a little contouring. I'm going in with the Bora Milano's um, contouring palette. I'm using Revlon's Color Stay Foundation Powder. It's a lovely compact that has a medium coverage. If you bake your contouring with that, it gets really, really perfectly blended. To create my brow, I'm using Revlon's Color Stay Eyebrow Pencil. First, I brush all the hair up and I draw a line on the lower edge. And then I'm going in and I'm drawing small lines from the bottom line upwards. With Suiva's Brow Line Brush, I'm going in and I'm blending it all together and creating a little bit more definition. And then I'm cleaning it all up with some concealer. For my eyes, I'm using Revlon Color Stay 16 Hour Eyeshadow in the color Precocious. I'm starting with the darkest shade and I'm creating a kind of shade for my eyelid. Then I'm filling out the inner part of my eye with the pink shadow in the palette. I'm going all the way underneath my eyebrow with the silvery frosty shadow and I also use the same color for my inner corner. Then I go back into the violet shadow and I'm smoking my lower eyelid out. I'm going in with the Color Stay Powder Foundation again just to be sure that the area underneath my eyes and also the nose contour is baked and ready for the night. Okay, I'm just doing a simple tight line with my Kiko eyeliner pencil just to give this soft smoky eye a little bit of a graphic definition. And while the powder is baking on the under eye area, I'm using the Revlon All-in-One Ultimate Mascara and Girls. This is giving you the lashes that you always wanted. All right, I already applied the glue to my lashes, but that needs to breathe dry. And now look at this blush. I mean, is that even for real? I ordered that from the States. It's Milani. It's the Milani Rose Blush and to be honest, just because of the shape of the blush itself, I wanted to have it. Using some setting spray. All right, the lashes are on and to intensify the entire rosy situation, I'm going in with Revlon's highlighting palette in the color Rose Glow. This one is not one of those highlighters that totally pops like crazy, but as you can see, it is light reflecting and it really gives you a very, very healthy look because the light is kind of rose colored. So yeah, it just makes you glow in a kind of rosy way. <laughs> For my lips, I'm going in with the Melted Matte in the color Queen Bee by Too Faced. And in the meantime, while the lipstick dries, I'm going in with Revlon's Colors, Colors Stay Exactify Eyeliner. This has the weirdest eyeliner tip ever, but I think it's really good for my beauty mark. And now that the lipstick is dried, I'm going over it with a gloss. It's also by Revlon and it's called Pink Sapphire. And it's the Lip Locker by Revlon in the color Pink Sapphire. All right, and that was a very fast look. I'm coming back with my wig and my outfit on.
All right, everyone, so this is my finished look for the gorgeous pink Barbie turned bad makeup. This is all kind of clueless. And as usual, tell it to your mother, tell it to your father, because as I said before, he may like the channel. See you in my next video. Bye.